Hello, I'm here to do a review on this multimeter. It's a Kelvin 50LE multimeter. It's a lot like the Centex that you can get from places like Harbor Freight. There's some key differences though. While this product actually has features like, oh, battery and maybe thermal whatever, I, I don't know, it doesn't really... You know, this thing has those features, maybe it just falls apart. I was using it one day, I wasn't even yanking on the lead and it just fell off. This thing is junk. It's also more expensive and it doesn't beep. So buy this. Guess what? It has a beeper and it's cheaper. You know what? Buy a whole box of these things. These things are awesome. Just take them to work. Put them out. Say $3 a pop. You'll get a box of like 50 bucks because everyone's just like, wow, this meter is awesome. So you know what? I actually own like a good meter. You're thinking to yourself, oh, okay, you know what? I, I, I have my favorite voltmeter and I use it for everything. Do you know where my favorite voltmeter is now that I've discovered these things are? You know what? Neither do I. Because I don't care. I have these things. They're like candy. Just leave them sitting around under the couch. Who cares? These things are awesome. They measure voltage, like AC and DC. You can see this. I have it hooked up to this power supply here, 2.3 volts. They measure current, like sort of. I mean, I guess. I don't know. I've never really used it to get it very accurate. It doesn't matter. I mean, who needs more than two digits? Oh, you're probably thinking about the time you actually use more than two digits. Guess what? There is another way for you to solve that problem. Or or, you know, resistance here. Yeah, they actually measure resistance. I could go get it out and I can compare it to this resistor, but I'm pretty sure this 5% resistor is going to be more off than this awesome meter right here. $2.75 buys you the most spectacular meter I have ever owned in my entire life. Why would you possibly want anything else? You know what? Don't buy Fluke anymore. Buy boxes of these. How much is a Fluke? Like, you know, more than 100 bucks? How many of these can you buy for 100 bucks? They're awesome! So, you know what? This thing even does like transistors and it has features I don't even know how to use. What's this little square wave here? It says on the back of this thing here like out, square wave out. You know, who knows what that is? Who cares? It doesn't matter if you ever use this feature. No, because you have a voltmeter, current meter, resistor meter thing for like $2.75. Some people are like, oh, well, I need to test my capacitors, make sure they're still working. You know what? You know, just put like a little bit of charge on them, okay, and go measure. Yeah, it's still working. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Do you care how big that capacitor is? No, I didn't think so. You just cared that it was working. Buy more of these meters, because they are just awesome. Hopefully, you know, Kelvin will never sell out of them, because I'm going to keep buying like a box of these all the time, because they just keep disappearing all over the place. Do you know how many of these I've bought and lost inside my house? Neither do I! That's what's so great about them! You're never looking for them because it doesn't matter because you always have a box of these meters! So yeah, just go buy these meters from Calvin because they're just spectacular meters. And they go out to two digits and they're actually pretty accurate, so yeah.